I didn't even notice that the mic was off. Yet again. I really need to stop forgetting to turn on the mic. Anyways, guys, so hello. I'm going to I'm going to be uh starting a new let I'm going to be starting a, a let's play on Minecraft on Hypixel Skyblock of Minecraft. So yeah, you guys, um now real quick, I'm going to go uh get some flat surface I can uh move the mouse on cuz right now it's not working too well. So hang on, you guys. Okay, guys, I'm back, and uh, I have this little book thingy that I'm moving the mouse around on, so yeah. I'll probably cut that uh, cut that little wait waiting part out of the editing. Okay, I need to hurry before it gets nighttime. Okay, at first I thought the book thing would have actually felt good, but maybe it's got to do with the fact that it's... Okay, there we go. That 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 feels okay. No, it it, it keeps curving in. Why? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. also I sorry I forgot. I'm, I need to build a pickaxe, not a not a sword. Okay, hang on, you guys. I need to go find a better option. Okay, this feels better. There we go, you guys. So, wait, uh, okay, here we go. So now I need to get over to where Jerry is right there. And, uh, after, and, so yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, wait, first I need, wait, why did it tell me to, to craft the pickaxe? Alright, I unlocked a cobblestone collection. Here we go. Okay, even with a nice flat surface to work on, this still does not feel too right. Alright, I think I should craft the furnace now. Hey, there we go. Alright, I'll put the furnace there for now. And so yeah, and uh, the crafting book isn't even a thing on Hypixel. Okay, this is not going to go over. I better, yeah, I got to oh, Okay, now. Come on, let me, I need to craft me, I need to craft me a stone sword. Okay, here we go. Since I have no coal yet, uh... I guess I'd just protect myself with a stone sword. I mean, I need to get over to that to that island there, but I kind of can't because I'm pretty low on stuff to bridge out with. Uh, oh well, I don't have any in-game uh, coins yet, so yeah. 
So falling in, so like dying won't be as bad now. But like once I actually get some coins that I can, uh, s you, that I actually can do anything with, uh, it's gonna be less pleasant. Okay, I think I need to chop down this tree fully so that it won't cast as bad of a shadow. I really need to get that jungle axe. Okay, now, come on. Now, see, I may not make episodes of this seri series, like, as often. Okay, it is really dark here. And another thing is... Okay. Okay, I don't think I can... I'm gonna turn up the volume a bit so I can hear. I wish I could use headphones. Okay, now I really need some headphones. I really need to get I really need to get over to that island. Problem is I don't know how much I can uh, use this precious Okay, I'll just plant a sapling here. And then I'll uh, use the rest of the wood that I got to make a temporary bridge leading over to there. Okay, so... Here we go, you guys. Oh, I thought I saw a skeleton. Okay, I just need to... Oh, by the way, guys, I don't think I'm going to be joined in this Let's Play. I don't think I'm going to be joined by anyone. Mostly because, like, I... Like, I never really got to experience, like, a so... Like, like doing everything on Skyblock, like, completely solo. So, yeah, now, now I know that there's, like... Item stuff's down there, but okay, good. There's already a torch down there anyway, so I'm fine on that part. Okay, got. Okay. Okay, now I got this stuff, and now I just need to talk to this guy. Your Skyblock Island is much part of a larger universe. Oh, you mean the thing that travels you to the hub island? Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, these things, if you don't know, guys, uh, these things are called cobbles. These things, these little things are called minions. They're basically generate. They're basically like generators in a way. Okay, I better head to the hub island before anything goes complete, completely bad. I think I should start by getting some coal. Ah, oh no. Okay, okay. Wait, okay, okay. Okay, it's gonna be a bit laggy at first, guys, but let me show you... Let me show you guys something. So here are the five different categories of uh, collections. Currently, we have, we have not gotten any farming type ones and as for the cobblestone type this is a list of all the stuff you can unlock um the stone platform i haven't really messed with yet in any other profiles so yeah now the auto smelter see the auto smelter is something you can put on like the iron and gold minions and what it'll do is like is like every is like okay like every ore that they mine will automatically be smelted into an ingot. I mean, you can also put on a sand minion to like have it generate glass, or a cobblestone minion to have it generate stone. I could go on, but I don't have time for it. Now, with the cobblestone, what I'm really, what I really think we ought to go for, like right off the bat, 
is like the thing you unlock, like the recipe unlock upon uh, getting 70k cobblestone. Oh wait, shoot, let me, first let me show you, uh, the compactor. Now what the compactor can do is, uh, if you put it on a minion, like say for example, uh, a diamond minion, then what it'll do is like every nine diamonds that the that the minion mo that the minion harvests will automatically be turned into blocks, which do count, which the block versions actually do count toward the collection. They actually do count towards the collections. Now, what's even better is the super compactor. Which uh, generate, which basically, which basically will generate, which will basically turn the materials it has and uh, generate them into the enchanted versions of them once they have enough. But the thing is, uh, it's also very, very expensive, like very. Okay, uh, where should we? I think we should start by getting some, some coal. Okay, this is... Come on. Alright, hang on. let me get this stuff out of my hotbar real quick, because I'm not going to be doing anything with that stuff here. Need to go talk to the blacksmith for re oh wait no I think I should save the talking to the blacksmith part until I actually have something that's worth talking to the blacksmith for okay so here we go the coal ore and now we have unlocked the coal, now we have unlocked the coal collection. For now, I'm just gonna grab myself enough coal to, uh... Okay, now I have access to the gold mine, which is basically the level 2 version of this. You know, the area where I'm at right now, but... I'm not gonna go there quite yet. For now, I'm just gonna... Also, go chop down some trees. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Let me show you guys something. This little nether star thing here. I mean, while in, while you may not be able to remove it from the ninth slot of the hot bar, it would actually... You, it's actually worth it because if you right-click on it, it takes you to this little interface, which you can, like, see the see your collections, uh... You can see like what levels you're at. Like say for example, um, I am at mining level one. I have not started on farming yet, nor have I began in combat yet. Forging, I have some levels in because basically foraging is like the the chopping down trees and collecting flowers uh, category, and then you have the fishing which is his own category. Now these other four, these other four like skills aren't seen in the collections thing because they're not part of the collections thing. It took me a while to figure that out. Okay, so now let me show you, uh, I've got a few things planned for this first episode. Okay, it is very lag. Okay, it is pretty laggy. Come on. Okay, you know what? It's it's daytime at the hub island, so it's got to be daytime again at the at my private island. Woohoo, you guys. Woohoo. No more lag. No more dropping frames in the video. Anywho, um, okay, let me, uh, give some bone meal to this 
but oh yeah I also have particles turned off to try and improve the performance of the of like the game it was really more of a thing I needed to do back when I was back when I was like streaming this game like 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 the, like less like this summer but then again, because I will no longer be streaming this this kind of thing anymore. Oh, I have. All right, now I have access to the Birch Park, which is basically a separate little hub island where you can uh, on where it's basically a separate little hub island where you can chop down birch wood. And then the next island is like spruce, and then it goes on through the different through the rest of the different uh, ones. Okay, time to craft an axe. And also some torches. Okay, uh, let me turn all these sticks here into tort. Hey, 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 come on. Come on, there we go. Okay, now another two, and then uh, oh wait, yeah. Okay, there we go. Come on, there we go. Now we have plenty of torches. Okay. Sorry, my back is a G. Okay, so by default, when you start the when you when you start on like an, a brand new private island, like by default, there's always going to be a cobblestone minion. Like here, let me show you guys. Uh, dang it, ah, ah, my eyes so itchy. Okay, uh, collections. Now. The, now the minions are always going to be in the early part of the collections. There are some minions which you can't, which you can't craft, or like I think there's only like one min, one minion you can't craft. But other than that, all right. So we don't have enough to make another cobblestone minion. However, even though I do already have one cobblestone minion, I need to craft another for it to count to the collect, for it to count to the minion count. Now I just need to. Ha I just need to have mined 50, 25 more cobblestones before I can uh, unlock that. So you know what? Or... Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I am so confused right now. Oh yeah. Okay, I, I understand now. Okay. Alrighty, now let's head off to uh to get ourselves some armor. Now if you didn't also didn't know, uh Hypixel Skyblock has like a variety of different custom armors and stuff, so yeah. So, here you so guys prepare for more lag because believe it or not, Hypixel is actually the most popular uh, Minecraft server thingy in the world, like currently, and I think that might be the case forever. So, uh, so there's obviously going to be a lot of people, and there's, therefore there's probably going to be a lot of lag too. Come on, come on, come on. So this episode, so what I'm going to need to do this episode is I'm going to need to uh, at least start on... Is I'm at least gonna need to start on a few minions, like perhaps the cobblestone, coal, uh, oak wood, and 
some stone coal oak wood and you know I don't know what I'm gonna do besides like the cobblestone oh yeah I'm also gonna have a couple farming minions or at least one This here, you guys, is a wheat minion. Now, unfortunately, I cannot pick up this wheat minion as it is just a... as it is just for decoration and also public can, like, withdraw from it. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do here is because I'm going to need to collect enough wheat to be able to craft the wheat minion. I seem to have leveled up in farming and now I have 78 in-game coins. There we go. I have unlocked the ability to craft the wheat minion and to uh, buy dirt. I'm not even kidding. Okay, so that up there is basically a wheat is a crystal. Long story short, it's practically like a minion, except it's, uh, a lot more powerful. And I guess while I'm looking at this right now, I'm, I'm just gonna harvest all, all this wheat anyway, just so that, wait, oh, there was a clay trade the whole time? I'm pretty sure that one, okay counted towards anything, but whatever. Hey, you're not gonna take away my... Okay, you know what, whatever. Okay, so... Wait, have I unlocked access to the barn island yet? It appears I have. All right, so now the barn island. Come on. Got cows, chickens, and pigs. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? Wait, what? What should I start on first? You know, I think I'll start on potatoes first. Cause on any of, cause on my other two profiles, I haven't really like started on potatoes first. So, okay. Hey. Hey. Really? <sighs> okay, now on this farming island is also where you can kill cows. Which I think I need to get started on. Because if I'm, I, cause I'm gonna need a cow minion, I think. And also, I'm gonna need to clear my hot bar so I can see how I'm doing. Or I might just have to get the cow minion another episode because this is not. This is not gonna work. Well. Okay, the frame rate is so bad. Where the frame rate is so bad on this island, like you have, you guys have no idea. Okay, here we go. Potatoes. Now, basically, I'm just gonna get enough potatoes. Okay. But this is harder than it looks because you have a lot of other people, because you have a lot of other players constantly trying to steal what you have. And if you don't already have, 
like a, like the like good enchantments you're practically not gonna get anywhere that soon like basically what I'm trying to say is it's hard it's hard to play early on especially like with every new update like there's always like like with like new armors and stuff and like people are always ahead of you and and most thing and some things so yeah so I basically just gotta go fast and try to get the, the, the things I need before other people can rudely take them from me. And while I'm here, I might as well also grab carrot. There we go. Uh, where's the... Okay. Why isn't the crystal... Hello, crystal. Why aren't you spawning more potato for me? Okay. Damn it, nobody take my potatoes. Okay, I think I'm almost to the point where I can uh, unlock the recipe for the potato minion. And then I just need to wait a little bit longer to, to have a little to have a little a few more potatoes after that. And then I'll be able to craft the minion. Okay, good. I crap. I, I I'm glad I was the one who picked up those potatoes and not that other player. Why is it taking so long? Surely I would have. Surely I would have unlocked the collection, like the collection level up by now. Like what? Did I miss it? And did I, did I miss it? Oh, I can't. It's it's even. Hang on, how do I? What's the recipe for? Like you like you can look at what the recipe the recipes in advance, but you can't exactly craft them until you've gotten the the collection upgrade or whatever. And I already promised myself that I would not do any off-camera stuff. See, there's just this one other player that's trying to take the, all these potatoes from me. I need the potatoes. Ugh, I need the potatoes. Now, another thing I could, I should mention about the minions, like they can't, like they can even harvest stuff for you while you're offline. So uh, yeah, that's helpful. I mean, Denny, I think I could join, I think I could have somebody join me in this Let's Play. But then again, at the same time, I'm not sure, because I don't know if I can trust that they won't, that they won't, like, do any upgrading on, on my island with me, like, off camera. Okay. Hey, my potato. Stop taking my potatoes. Stop it. Oh, by the way, if you guys have, if you guys may or may not have noticed by now, um, why aren't the potatoes like appearing on the ground? Well, the reason for that is that player must be using the telekinesis enchantment. You know, I'll, I'll tell you guys more about the telekinesis enchantment a little bit later into this Let's Play series, but for now, I'm going to wait. I'm going to give it a little bit, because the telekinesis enchantment is only going to be, is really only going to be relevant, like, when I can actually be able to do it, or, I mean, why did I, why did I put it that way, to use it or do anything with it.
Okay, I just need two stacks of potatoes. I just need two stacks of potatoes and then I can craft the menu. Come on. Are we fine? Okay, I think that that player. Okay, no. I jinxed it. I was about to say that that one player right there with. What is it? A skeleton. A skeleton helmet? Okay, I, un I unlocked the potato minion recipe, but. It's not really gonna do me any good until I. Yeah, they, yeah they probably, they'll probably just think I'm a noob, but if anybody calls me a noob, I'm just going to tell them, like, right out loud that I'm not a noob. I'm just playing on, I'm just playing on a new profile for you, for a YouTube series. And then they'll be like, oh no, and they can't, and they can't bully me because it'll be caught on camera. And then, I can use that to report those players on the forums. So, don't try to mess with me. Okay, uh, come on, come on. Dang it. Okay. Oh, I think I have a, I think I have a little, I think I have a hunch on why this person is trying to take the potato, these potatoes from me. Like, I think they're trying to grind for, like, the hot potato book or something, which I'll talk, I'll tell you guys about that, like, later in the series. And then if it becomes relevant, okay, why did it not drop on the ground? Gimme. Okay, I just have I just have eight more. Come on. Oh. Okay, okay. Yes! Finally, now I have enough to craft the potato minion. Oh my gosh. Let's head back to let's head back to the private island now. Woo! Finally, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and place some torches down so that mobs can't spawn and try to screw up my island. I mean then again, the sun's coming up anyway, but still. Okay, let me show you guys how to craft the minions of it. So first things first, uh Oh wait, hang on. I'm, I need I should craft the some more sticks first. So this is how you craft the minions, guys. Um So in this case, I'm gonna be making a wheat minion and a potato minion. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to make two wooden hoes. Then what I need to do is I need to just uh, take like we'll start with the wheat. Take the wheat and sur and like make and like make it into a into like a box shape as you would with a chest. And then you place the hoe in there, and boom, you got a wheat minion. Oh, and also right there. Uh, base basically every time you craft a new minion, like a new minion you that that has been crafted on that. Pro, uh, on that profile before uh, basically the more mi the more new minions you make uh, the more minion the more minions can be uh, can be at work at the same time okay and now I should uh, craft the potato minion.
And now I got a potato minion. Yay. Let's go talk to the cobblestone minion. Hey. Okay. Okay, I was like, I was like confused for a second over about what I was going to say. You know what guys, I think I might just use the wooden pickaxe from like the beginning of the island thing. Which then again, I think that part was, is probably not going to appear in this video because I didn't realize I'd forgotten to turn my mic back on. I, f I didn't realize I forgot to turn my mic back on until I was, until I had already like made the pickaxe. I th at least I think. So, yeah. Now, you may be asking, there's already a cobblestone minion on the island. What are you doing? Well, then again, although there may although there might be by default a cobblestone minion, that doesn't mean I was the one who crafted the cobblestone minion yet. So, it doesn't count towards the towards the minion list. Plus, then again, more than one cobblestone minion at work could be very helpful. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, come on. I guess I should take this minion down into here and put it in the chest for now. That was my mistake. My mistake. Okay, uh, now I should go craft a stone pickaxe, which I can use to get some iron. Wait, how long have we been? We've been recording for 41 minutes so far. I think what I'll do for each episode is I'll get about maybe one or two hours worth of footage, and then I'll edit it together like later on, and then I'll release the episodes. And so, yeah. Alright, okay, uh. <sighs> I keep forgetting what I was gonna do next. Okay, anyway, I've. Okay, oh, now I remember. I was gonna make a. I was gonna make a stone pickaxe. Yay! Okay, um. I don't know what I want to do next. Uh, I think I should go ahead and go to the to the oak forest so I could start chopping down some logs so I can get started on a on an oak minion. And with the oak minion if you just keep the oak minion going, you could get some really you should get, you could get a lot of good stuff good stuff done. Right, come on. A jungle axe would be pretty helpful, except I cannot it it takes a little while to get the jungle axe. I'll I'll, I'll show you guys what the jungle axe is. Well, then again, before anything, I need to unlock the jungle wood collection first off. Come on. You know what? I think I'll do the lumberjack, uh quest in this episode. Timber! My wood cutting assistant is. Okay, how many lo oh, I need to chop down ten logs. This would be really helpful if I had telekinesis or the jungle axe. Both of them would have been both both of them would be pretty good. Now, if you guys may have noticed, oh, uh, Epo in there. What? Where's the? 
Where where's the little bars that say when an item when something's gonna break? The thing it the thing about that is uh nothing in this n nothing in this uh in this like game mode can, can can lose durability. So basically, you can have a gold you can basically have like a gold sword, and it would actually be acceptable because the gold can't. The gold sword can't lose durability. Hmm? Oh, nice. Thank you. I just got the sweet axe. Okay, so if you guys don't know what the sweet axe is, uh, essentially, on the outside, it may look like a, just a, n a normal iron axe, but it's actually one of the custom, like, one of the custom, like, tools and the sweet axe, what it can do is it has a 20% chance of dropping an apple when chopping down logs. Now, see, the thing is, I haven't exactly, like, looked into the whole, like, like the point of apples on this thing, because there's no farming collection for apples. A little spoiler, there's no farming, there's no, like, collection for apples, so I don't really know what, how good it would actually turn out. Anyway, so... The whole reason why I came to this forest, why I came to the, why I, why I came to the forest here, is so that I could chop down some logs, and then I can craft me an oak minion. Come on. There we go. Hey, I leveled up the foraging level two, and I can now go to the spruce woods, which is like the area after the birch park. You know what? Actually, I think how about this? Uh, I guess in this episode, I'll like go to all the different, to like all the different islands. Now, if you also are wondering, why don't you have any armor yet? Well, see, the thing is, believe it or not, iron armor isn't all that helpful considering like all the custom like custom like AI to uh, mobs because like the mo some mobs get a lot harder like say for example zombies creepers skellies you know all that and like endermen endermen will be a very different story for me I'll, I'll tell you I'll tell you about that guys next like in a future episode but for now I'd like to show you guys the birch park and then maybe from there we can uh, do we can like go through the, the the one the mission that the that like all the different islands have okay, come on okay come on I know what my experience is okay what the heck come on stop stop losing frames here okay so you need to talk to this NPC Charlie I'm quite forgetful. I tend to say the same thing over and over again. Hello. Uh -huh. First time, find time to cut uh -huh. some wood. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So I have to collect the birch logs first. Okay. I think I'll do it with the sweet axe. Just to try and save some time. Oh, looky. I already have, I already have a couple apples. I thought the percentage was 20%. I thought the percentage chance was 20. And eh, whatever. Hmm? Oh, I saw an apple drop and I was looking at where it landed. I was like looking for where it landed. Now I just need... I just need to have chopped down about... About a stack of birch wood, about a stack of birch logs. And then, uh, once I have enough birch logs, come on. Once I have enough birch logs, I then gotta give them to, uh, to the NPC dude right there. And then. And then I can uh, get going on the quest thing or whatever. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, you may be wondering what happens when it gets dark. See, the thing is, on the hub islands, there's only like a specific few places that hostile mobs can actually like try to attack you. And there's only like three, you know, there's only like four of those different like hub island things. So we're fine on that front. Okay, that is way too high. I, bet, I, I think I should move on to a different tree because I don't have the jungle axe yet. It's going to take a little longer. Oh, by the way, guys. Uh, oh, by the way, guys. Along with uh, along with my my rule for no for no uh, for no saying inappropriate things in in the comment section, I'm also going to extend it to no spoil no spoilers in the comment section as well because while there are some like us like some of you who have seen and played this and know stuff but then again at the same time there's also people that haven't played this yet and don't know and don't really know much and if that's the case then you should probably go play it for yourself before you watch this but whatever i can't really control what to do but still don't spoil anything okay cuz cuz even there are some things that even I haven't like experienced yet. There's like a few things that, that even I haven't experienced yet. Okay, come on. Why did I get why did I why did I do that? Okay, hang on. I need to rearrange my inventory back. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I did that. Okay, anyways, no need to talk to this Charlie dude here. Dark Oak Logs, okay. Okay, so now I need to head on to, like, the farther forging lines. Hang on, how long am I recording? Alright, about 51 minutes worth of recording. Okay, now I need to start getting some spruce logs. Okay, so I just need to get enough uh, foraging EXP to be able to move on to like the rest of like the... Come on. To, to be able to move on to like to like the dark thicket and get this Charlie person enough logs so that he can give me something in return. Now I think what I'll do is I'll uh is I'll like go to the mining hub islands like next episode, but not this episode because believe it or not the mining hub islands actually are actually a bigger process than you'd think. Okay, now I have access to the Savannah Woodlands, so yeah, now while I'm at the Jungle Island, I think I'm going to go ahead and get enough logs to, uh, to, come, come on, stop dropping frames. Okay, there we go, I have my frames back. Okay, here we go. Are you serious? You're really gonna be the <sighs> rude. Okay. Are you seriously kidding me? Oh, come on. Get to get to that. Okay, good. The the whole tree respond. Okay, now I have the jungle wood collection unlocked, but I need to have enough jungle logs to craft the jump. Are you for real? Seriously?
Okay, I think it only takes about a stack of, uh, what? Actually, you know what? Let me check. Okay, it only takes about a stack. It only takes about one point. Basically one, basically one and a quarter stacks to be able to craft this minion. Or, or basically the the fur the lo the lowest tiers of like all the of of like all the foraging type minions. Also, I'm keeping my eye out for fairy souls. You guys may be think some of you guys who don't know what those are may be thinking. Uh, okay. I thought that way this was Minecraft. Oh, by the way. If I come across a fairy soul, I'll tell you about him. Okay, come on. I really need to get telekinesis on one of my on this axe. Yeah, see, this is another thing. The people who have like better tools than you, like currently, they will Actually, they will try to take. They will try to steal, to steal what you're trying to get. They will try to steal what you're trying to get. And so that's one of the annoying things. You really gotta know about this. They will try to steal what you're trying to get, and you just can't really do anything about it other than to just keep trying to get what you're trying to get, and then, and then you go when you have all, all you need. Okay, I don't think anyone's trying to mess with me right now, so I... Huh. Yes! Nobody's trying to get in my way anymore, yay. Come on, come on. Okay, I've unlocked the recipe for the jungle minion, but I... S for the jungle wood minion, but I still need enough logs to be able to craft the thing. Okay, now all of a sudden, people are starting to get my way again. I mean, then again, like, it may not sound like, look like such a, such a big deal, like, when, like, it's just wood chopping down, but trust me, it actually gets a lot more, it actually gets a lot more extreme later on. Actually gets a lot more extreme later on, so buckle up, peoples. Okay. Alright, we're almost there, you guys. We're almost there. Okay, just three more logs, you guys. Just three more logs. Yes, okay, finally, we can move on to the Savannah Island thing. The Savannah Woodland, okay, yeah, that's what it's called, all right. Come on, dang it, all right. Okay, there we go, I have my frames back, all right, there we go. I can tell that she has a jungle axe. Okay, I really wish I could reach, I could be able to reach that, but I can't. See, that, remember I was talking about fairy souls? That's what a fairy soul is. Basically what you can do with fairy souls is, uh, it's like if you right click on one, then you practically collect it. And what you can do with the fairy souls is if you trade the fit with the fairy, if, if you like trade, if you like give the fairy souls like, I mean the fairy like five souls, what she'll do is she'll like permanently 
give is she'll give you like permanent stat boosts. And see the thing is there's like almost 200 total fairy souls on the hub island alone. And so yeah, so I mean then again, there's already like a video on YouTube that basically tells you where where all the fairy souls are. But uh to be honest, it actually it actually feels a lot it actually feels a lot more exciting if you end up finding a fairy soul like completely on your own. Like to like to be honest, that's actually a little more exciting. So yeah. Okay, so far I have uh, three logs. Now I just need to wait on. Now I just need to wait on stuff to regen. Now I just need to wait on the the crystal to generate me some more trees. Yay, now I finally have access to the dark thicket. Let's go. Okay, you guys, uh, I'm, I, I think I'm going to look over the recording later and see like how loud the game is, but it is actually rather quiet for me. Okay, now I have unlocked, now I just need to have, uh, chopped down a stack of dark oak logs, which I should probably put in my hotbar so I can see how I'm doing. Okay, I have enough to make it. I have unlocked the dark oak minion recipe, but I'm not gonna make a dark oak minion yet. For now, I'm just gonna get, and uh, I'm just gonna get a stack of dark oak logs. I just need one more. Yay! Okay, now I just need to go talk to the NPC dude back at the birch park. Boom. Oh, hey, and uh, believe it or not, the reason why uh, th this Charlie NPC dude looked like Alex at first was because it, it, it needed a little bit of time to, like, generate a... a <laughs> ah, shoot! Okay. Now I have a mini a small storage. Basically, basically, the storage chests are if you... Basically, if you place the storage chests down, like, next to minions, what the minions will be able to do is, depending on how big the storage chest is, uh, they'll basically have extra storage room. And so, yeah, guys. So now I've done all I need to do here in the, here at the Birch Park, or, or uh, whatever other islands. Oh yeah, believe it or not, I think the Enderman minion is like one, it's like one of the, it's like one of the hardest minions to get, like, basically all you need is like a bunch of Ender Pearls, which is actually really hard to get if you haven't already gotten an Enderman minion yet. Be so basically what I'm saying is if you don't already have an Enderman minion, or if you, or if like some, or if like somebody doesn't let you borrow theirs or something like that, then uh, then basically you won't even. Then basically, the only way to get in, enough Ender Pearls is to basically just hope that there's enough Ender men on your island, and then you have to hope 
that you can kill them without dying. And you also have to hope that they that they'll always drop ender at least one ender pearl. So basically, you just need about eighty ender pearls. Okay, we've been. Wait, how much recording time do we got left? I mean, okay, we're about an hour, an hour and four minutes into it, so I think we might be able to squeeze in a little bit more. Problem is, I don't know what I'm gonna be able to squeeze in right now. Come on! Okay, here we are. Finally, we are back here. Okay, uh, now I need to make me a jungle minion. So since the jungle minion is in the foraging collection, I'm going to make a wooden axe. And then I surround it with the, with the right amount of jungle logs. And voila! I have made the jungle minion. Okay. But what minion should be the remaining? What Which minion should be the remaining that I upgrade? I mean, I mean, either upgrade or craft, and then you Uh, the cobblestone minion's gonna require a lot of cobblestone. So I shouldn't really go that route quite yet. You know what, guys, let me show you, uh, the bank. Okay, uh... Alrighty, so first of all... I mean, then again, I don't even know if I'm even going to cut out any, like, parts of this. Except for, like, that little outtake. The little outtake at the beginning. That happened because I forgot to turn on my microphone. But anyway, so here we are. Uh, I'm, I'm going to wait on the cobblestone minion to, uh, do its thing. And while I'm doing that, I might as well... I might as well go hunting for some fairy souls. Like this one right here. Okay, I forgot which angle I have to be at to get it. Yeah, come on, stop. Stop that. Okay, it definitely doesn't have anything to do with, uh... Wait, okay, it definitely doesn't have anything to do with OBS, which means it's just being... St Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? You're gonna you're gonna try and pull this now of all times? Really? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. I think we finally have regained control of like where we go. So here we are. Now I can't remember. I mean, now I don't really remember what angle I need to be at in order to reach this. Oh, wait, never. There we go. That's the first fairy soul of this Let's Play series. Now let me show you guys where to go and where to go in order to get these uh, traded in to get permanent stat boosts. Uh, 
Uh, well, first of all, we have somebody fishing right there. I can't do any fishing yet because I do not have a fishing thing yet. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not, okay, somebody's asking, like, where the carpenter is. I'll, I'll, like, talk about the carpenter when, like, it, when, like, I actually do anything with the carpenter, with the carpenter. Ah, stop glitching. Now, see, the thing is, I know where the, lo the locations of some of the fairy souls but other than that, I don't really know a whole lot. Uh, I do know that there's one in that bush over there. Uh, one down there in the water. One under this bridge. Okay, I'm sorry if you Okay, I'm sorry for my reaction there. See, the thing is, um, personally, like, ever since I broke my headphones I I generally like haven't been a haven't like been able to play Minecraft like ha actually having actually being able to listen to the volume so uh for, for so most so until like about in July I had no idea like what the sounds would sound like because I've I've gotten used to uh to not turning up the volume Okay, there's the there's the fairy named Tia. <coughs> Welcome to the fairy pond, e point two six. I am Tia. You may have noticed some strange orbs lying around the island. They are the souls of my fallen sisters. If you find any more during your travels, please bring them back to me. You have almost 200 sisters? Dang, talk about a big family. Okay, now, right off the bat, she's gonna, she's gonna, like, tell you about this one that's right here. This is, this one right here is basically, is basically the, is basically, like, the only freebie. Now, unfortunately, like, there's nothing in the hub menu that you can use to see how many fairy souls you currently have collected. Like, the only way to know how many fairy souls you have so far is either if you keep track or by talking to the fairy, to Tia the fairy. Okay, so, exchange fairy souls. Um, now, see, the thing is, you may, if you want to go for getting all the fairy, getting all the fairy souls, you may want to look up a video of, like, where they all are and how to get to them. Because, like, I've had to use the video myself, and believe it or not, you actually have to follow the video, like, step by step. Like, somebody jumps to the right, you jump to, to that exact spot, and you basically have to follow the video ste step by step. Because if you don't, then you practically won't be able to find all the, all the souls. Because a huge majority of the fairy souls are actually hidden in really obscure places that... No one, that no one, that no one, like that no average person would think to look. Now see the thing is, I know the locations of a lot of those fairy souls, and believe it or not, if you get stuck at some point during the tutorial video, you may want to like... You may want to like just skip ahead. Like if there's an area that's like really hard and stuff, and you can't exactly get all the fairy souls in that area, you may want to like move on to the next fairy soul, which I do not recommend doing because if you don't keep track, you'll practically have to to like watch the video fall step by step a second time, and like get all of them like and 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 yeah, it's just a huge pain in the butt. Okay, now this area is the forest area. I wait. Can I chop down logs here? No, I cannot. Okay, so basically this area is only like uh, oh, I've 
entered the mountain zone area. Okay. Okay, and so as I was going, I was on my way to here, which this place is where I want to be right now. The wizard tower. Uh, okay, where... Uh, come on. Where, come on. Uh, uh, come on. Now, just to give you an example of, like, how obscure most of, like, the hiding places for these fairy souls are, this place houses a few, like, I think maybe only, like, five or six of them at most can be found here. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's my fifth fairy soul. Now, basically, if you're wondering, well, a pointer, if, uh, if, like, the fairy can raise your stat boosts, then what can she raise? Now, if you haven't already noticed, uh, when I started the, when I, when I started this, uh, when, when I started this profile, like, at the beginning of this episode, probably, I, my maximum health was only 100, but then I did some farming by collecting that, by collecting all that wheat. And then, uh, basically leveling up your farming collection can actually raise your health, too. I mean, uh, basically raising your health, uh, skill level. Basically raising your, like, farming skill level can also get you more health. Okay, so, because this was only the first five fairy souls I, I gave her, uh, she only gave me plus three health, plus one defense and plus one strength. And as you can see, before my defense was only at one, and now it's at two. And as you can see, I'm not wearing any armor. So, yeah. Now, there are a lot more fairy souls. I don't know if I'm going to make an entire video committed to uh, getting all those fairy souls, which, I mean, then again, if I haven't even, uh, if I haven't even gotten all the fairy souls on the profile that I... Um, on my on my original profile that I'm practically level up the most in and stuff and have done more stuff. If I haven't even gotten all the fairy souls on that profile, then uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make a video on doing it on this profile. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And so yeah, the guys, that little uh, arena place right there. Is basically the Colosseum. Uh, the the only the only thing you can do there is uh basically you and uh any other players who who dare fight with you. It's basically where you can battle each other in a PvP session. And like, there's really no rewards to uh the PvP thing. It's really just for fun. Okay, so yeah, um, I think what I'm I think what I'm gonna do is uh, what should I do? Hang on, let me look in the collections. Uh. Okay, if I get more wheat, I'll be able to uh, make some armor. You know what? Now, let me also show you guys the, the bank thing. Like, after I get myself some regular old diamond armor. I'm not even going to enchant that diamond armor because it's literally just going to be... Huh. Oh, great warriors. Nothing huh. without their armor. Click on me again to open the armorsmith shop. Yikes, this looks a little more expensive than I had anticipated. Okay, so I have one piece of the nor of the regular old diamond armor. Yep. So basically wearing this armor, I'll at least be able to get somewhere, right?
Okay, you guys, now... <laughs> you need strong weapons to survive out in the wild. Lucky for you, I've got some. Click on me again to open up to a business shop. Okay. Now, here's all the things the weaponsmith can sell you. Um, a custom... A custom sword that may appear as an iron sword at, at first, but when you actually look at it, it's the undead sword. It deals 100%, it deals plus 100% damage to skeletons, withers, zombies, and zombie pigmen. And that is actually very helpful. Now the, now the end sword uh, deals 100% damage plus damage to Endermen, Ender Dragons, and Endermites. Uh, I think I'm gonna get that later. And then you have the Spider Sword, which deals plus 100% damage to Spiders, Cave Spiders, and Silverfish. And then you just have the norm... the, 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 the same old, the regular old Diamond Sword. And then you have the regular old bow, and then the arrows, but then you have the Wither Bow, deals plus 100% damage to Withers and Wither Skeletons. I think for now I'm going to go with the Undead Sword, because believe it or not, uh, the Undead Sword is actually, like, like if you if you put the right upgrades on it, it can actually be the one of the most useful swords here. Okay. Starting to get pretty itchy. Alright, so now what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna upgrade my combat level. Now, this little area to the right of the forest. Okay, this frame drop is not gonna be. See, the diamond armor is going to help me only because these are level 1 zombies. Alright, I'm going to talk to this bartender dude. Welcome to the bar, friend. These are trying times indeed. The graveyard is overflowing with monsters. Anyone who comes in is spooked off by the grunts of the zombies in the distance. Could you give me a hand? If you help me clear out some of the monsters, I'll pay you for it. Okay. So I just need to so I just need to kill ten zombies. One zombie. Two zombies. Three zombies. And now I have access to the spider stand, which is basically which is basically the other little hub island section. For, uh, for killing, like, the spiders and the skeletons and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, another thing, guys, if you die, you don't lose your items, but instead you lose, like, half of the coins you currently have in your purse. Okay, now I have enough enough run flesh, so now I'm gonna go talk to the bartender. Ah, no. See, look at that. The regular zombies are like basically the the the, the same old diamond armor is not that helpful. But then again, at least it protected me from the zombies somewhat. <laughs> Which can I describe? I think uh, well, the whole area is very uh, dangerous, but uh, yay! It gave me one hundred coins. Okay, how much? An hour and twenty-three minutes. Okay. I don't even know if I'm gonna edit. It. I don't even know if I'm gonna edit it out like a whole lot of this. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay, I think I'm also gonna go ahead and make a zombie minion. So that I can get started on on like a mob on like a hostile mob type minion as well. Wait then again. What business do I have doing that when I haven't even when I haven't even expanded my island? Okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, so I'm just gonna keep killing zombies until I can create a- until I can make a zombie minion. Okay, I, th I don't know how much I'm gonna need to craft a zombie minion. Okay, I should probably get out of the... Okay, now I'm out of the graveyard and wait a minute. Did that well did that even go up at all? Like the uh whatever. I guess while I'm here I might as well also grab enough uh grab enough oak logs to craft an oak minion. Okay, I immediately am doing something wrong. I should be ha I should be having these oak logs in my hotbar so I can see how well I'm doing with them. Also, I'm sorry about the frames, you guys. I can't really do anything about that. Huh? Somebody Alrighty guys, I have unlocked the ability to craft the oak minion. Now I just need to get enough oak logs to be able to craft the thing. This would be really helpful, you guys, if only I would be, if only I had a jungle axe. Like I'll, this would, this wouldn't take as long if only I was using a jungle axe, but unfortunately, I'm not. Okay. Okay, now I have enough to craft the oak the oak minions. Now I'm gonna go back to my island and boom, here I am. Okay, so first of all, I need to craft uh, I need to craft a wooden sword. Wait, what am I doing? There we go. Mm. 
Okay, so mobs have already started spawning on my island. That's a problem. And I think my only bet is to just wait until it's lighter out. What? The zombie can... Oh yeah, I, I think... Believe it or not, you guys, I actually think that the zombies, unlike the other mobs, can actually see you from, like, very far away. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. I, I just cannot. I just do not like the fact that there are mobs. On my island. No. Shoot, hang on, guys. I need to. There we go. Now I have some string. I, I really also need to get a storage system made. Uh, okay i don't know how mobs were spawning down here but i need to light this place up a little more if mobs are spawning down here come on come on come on one is okay. There we go. Uh, put a torch there. Put a torch there. Torch there. Torch there. And there we go, you guys. Oh, uh, also need to put a torch there. Yay! Okay. Alright, now that the mobs have been taken care of, I think now I'll be able to come down here, put this stuff in here. Come on, hurry up. Okay. Okay, and now, uh, well, I need to take this out of here. Now I need to set up these minions. Uh, well, first of all, I need a platform to uh, put them on. I need like a space to put to put them to work or whatever. I think I might as well just use cobblestone for that. Okay, there we go. Now I have made the, the square that, uh, oh, which minion should be placed first? Well, then again, all the minions I have right now need, 
they at least need some form of dirt to work on, so I need to go back down in here. It was scary, I almost fell off the edge there. And I need to grab some more dirt. Oh wait, yeah, I also unlocked the dirt trade. So let me show you guys how the trade how the little trade works. Now while some items you can buy like at the merchants at the hub, uh other things you can't. Like you can trade oak wood logs or planks or whatever, I don't really know, for coal. And you can trade four dirt blocks for grass for four grass blocks. And in this case you can trade eight seeds per dirt. Okay, there we go. And it looks like the sun is starting to come up. Okay, now I just, all right, now the next step is to get uh, something for the minion to stand on. And in this case, I choose andesite. There we go. One, be, one piece of polished andesite for every minion that I'm going to set up now. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna place a torch there. Alrighty. So, what should I go for first? I think I should go for the wheat minion first. And now I need to make this platform bigger so that it can fit, so, so that the platform can fit more minions. And also a bit wider so that I can have some walk some more walking space. And now that I think about it, I also should give myself a diamond now. Problem is I can't mine diamonds yet because uh, it's actually a lot harder than it seems to get just to get diamond armor. So at this point if getting diamond armor is, is hard enough on its own then what I'll do is I'll allow someone to join me, someone that's actually wanting to join me, and something that's and someone that's willing to uh, to not do anything without 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 me or doing anything off camera on this island. So yeah, okay, here we go. So now the reason why the wheat minion hasn't hasn't begun uh, putting it, storing anything is because, well, it needs to plant the stuff first. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two, Four, five, six. Okay. Dang it, I'm starting to run low on seeds. <sighs> I'm starting to run low on seeds. And not only that, but I'm also starting to run low on dirt too. And I'm not going to grab the shovel just yet. I'm not going to grab the shovel just yet because... Because I have other things uh, planned for, 
for when that time comes. There we go. Okay, I think next I'll have the jungle minion. Jungle minion, I choose you! Now, see, the thing is, the minions actually, without fuel, they actually need, like, some little cooldown time, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Alright, already one jungle tree grown. Oh, shoot, I probably should take care of some little problem I was told about. I should probably take care of that problem real quick. There we go. Uh, one. Two. Three. Four. Alright. Oh, there's already two trees growing. Okay. Bye, bye. Okay, anyways. Five. Okay. It's gonna be a bit tricky, so I might as well just climb on top. Times like this really make me wish I had the telekinesis enchantment. Ah, oh, great, I have to go down there to get it. Okay, so there we go. See, the reason why I have to place, like, stuff at the tops of the trees is because I was told that, uh, that's, that sometimes the tree minions, most notably the jungle minion, can, uh, can, can, like, try to get out of hand and the trees will grow too tall. And so basically, you know, what I needed to do was have some, was have, like, a block place like at the tops of of like all the first trees so that they can't grow that too tall. Come on. Come on, dang it. Okay. Alrighty. And and right off the bat, the wheat minion appears to have gotten her first bit of wheat and her first bit of seeds. Yay. Okay. Uh, come on. Wait, what? Oh, I was wondering why the crafting table wasn't opening. I feel bad for the cobblestone minion. Wait, what we're recording? How much we're recording? Oh, we're almost. We've almost reached the two hour. The two hour, like, episode limit or whatever. So, yeah. So, that's not good. Um.
So, like I said, guys, once I reach about two, once I reach about two hours worth of recording time, then uh, I'll end off the episode. And I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to to like chop out parts of the episode. And I'm really sorry if you can't really like hear my voice all that well. It's because uh, I don't want to like. I don't want to like need to stick my face like right up close to the camera too much at a time because that would be really awkward to both me and you guys. So yeah, I don't know why I sound like I'm already doing my outro sequence even though technically I'm not ending the episode off just yet. Okay, um... I did not realize that had a sound. Okay, so we have I think I know what we can do to end off this episode. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. Okay, so I'm sorry I had I lost I'm losing frames again, you guys, but uh Okay, where am I going? Okay, here we go. We're going this way. So basically, uh... So basically what I'm gonna do to end off this episode, you guys, is to get at least... At least one piece. Like, at least a type of, uh... Better armor equipped on me, because right now... That is probably not good, because right now the default diamond armor, even with, uh, even with enchantments on it, uh, there's actually better armors you can use. There's actually better armor options to use. So, yeah. So, basically, I'm just gonna... Okay. So, basically, I'm just gonna get enough, uh, enough wheat to earn me... The we the have I unlocked the ability to craft the Okay, I'm 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 almost there. I'm literally just four away. Here we go. There we go. Alright now how do I craft it? Oh, that's, uh, rather expensive. Oof. The weed armor is basically... The weed armor is... is pra I think the weed armor practically just has... Practically has just as much as, uh, defense as a normal... Di as normal everyday diamond armor does, so... I might... I think I just might start out with the with using wheat armor. Now it sounds ridiculous, but the wheat armor is actually very helpful if you were wearing a full set of it. Okay. Yep, I was right. Okay, that actually looks really cool. 
you know my uh, my my little combination with diamond with di with some piece of diamond armor and other pieces of uh, of like wheat armor. I really like that, and it looks cool. got plus 100 coins. Nice. Okay. Okay. Now I've got the the wheat helmet and the farms and the wheat uh Oh, by the way, um, for most, and I'm only saying, and I'm, and I'm saying most, because it's true. Uh, for most of the, uh, of like the custom armors on Hypixel Skyblock, uh, there's like this full set bonus where if you have a full set of one of one type of armor, you basically get uh, something cool to happen. And in this case, I go twenty, and then in, and in this case, I go twenty percent faster. When I'm when I'm on the farm I when I'm when I'm in the farm area which is where I am right now, or the barn island which is where I went to get the potatoes, and the mushroom desert which I will not uh, mention much about as of now, cause uh, we'll we'll do that in a future episode. I think next episode what I want to do is I want to go mining so we can go ahead and get a diamond minion made. All right, what's the recording time? Okay, we're nearing the two hours. Okay, here we, oh, shoot. Okay. So, uh, yeah, now I have some wheat armor. Let's test this out. Wait a minute. I thought I went, oh wait, I think I am going a bit 20% faster. Huh. Oh yeah, I definitely noticed I am going faster. <coughs> Howdy, friend. Huh. The cow's sick. She needs some food to replenish her strength. Could you gather some wheat from my farm and bring it back and bring it back to me so I can feed her? I need to collect some more wheat, okay. Literally just four bits of wheat here. Thank you so much. Okay, now I think what all right. I may I may end up going a little over the two like the two hour thing, but I just really need to get I just really need to get my uh to get I just really need to get the oak minion put the work. I'm out of cobble. I need to go get more cobblestone. Okay, I also I think next episode what I'll probably end up doing is I'll make the platform a little wetter. I, I'm not going to do it off camera. I'm not going to do this off camera. I'm not going to do anything off camera. Now, I almost want to use some of this hardened clay 
but at the same time, uh, but, but at the same time, I, I, I wanted, I wanted to match. Like I want one little area thing to match. Okay. Oops. Oh yeah, by the way, I should mention the minions the minions can actually talk to each other and they can also like talk to you too. Okay, she has 24 wheat and 16 seeds. Okay, what's the recording time here? Five minutes left. What should I do in the meantime? You know what? I guess, how about this? To end off the episode, I'll like end off the episode by, uh, I'll end, I'll end off the episode by setting up the oak minion. And I'll, I think I'll go ahead and like do my outro, uh, my, my outro line. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, please, uh, make sure to leave a like on the video and, uh, subscribe and subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want notifications for when new videos come out because YouTube obviously doesn't know what they're doing most of the time. And, uh, please also, like, uh, share the video with others, try to spread the word out, and, uh, and try to make this channel more known. And stuff like that. And also, please comment below, although... Although try to, although I want you to keep the comments appropriate and uh, and also spoiler free. If I see any, if I see if I see any spoilers in the comments or inappropriate comments, they will be removed because uh, because YouTube because YouTube decided decided that comments net that 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 the videos now need to be demonet now now should be demonetized if the comments are bad. So yeah. Any, any like negative comments will be removed for this reason alone. And so yeah, guys. With all that being said, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, oh, and also please, uh, please join my Discord app. Pl please, uh, please join my Discord server. Uh, links in the description below. Um, uh, also follow me, follow my Mar Mario Maker 2 profile, uh, the, the code will be in the description below. Um, also follow me on Twitch, link, so, link it will be in the description below. Um, what else would, uh, and so yeah. So, with all that being said. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Oh, I got about 2 minutes left. Oh, whatever. There's no need there's no need to for it to end late. There's no need for it to end uh Well, there is well, it actually is not pleasant for the video to end that early, so There's not enough time for me to set up for for me to set up another minion, so yeah. Uh, so I guess this is where we'll end off the video here now. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video I make, whether it's another episode of this series or a reaction video or whatever other video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.